right? We each play a part in the functioning of a larger institution, the church or the school, the place of work or, or the political culture. We each have a sense of what our role is in relation to other people in doing that work, even within the family. We have, a, we have an understanding that as a husband or a wife, as a, a son or a daughter, we have a certain role to play. And our sense of that role ultimately shapes our sense of who we are and what we are in the world, what matters about what we do and how we can make a difference. That, we don't often think about that as being, as being performed by institutions, right? We have a way, especially in American culture, and often this is a good thing, of seeing right through institutions, of treating them as invisible and not seeing why we need them. That helps us to feel free. But in times when our institutions are in trouble, we have to see them so that we know where to go to offer help. We have to see that part of what's failing is that we lack these roles, these understandings of what responsibilities we have relative to other people in the church, in the community, uh, in the workplace, in the school. And in order to see that, we have to ask ourselves that great unasked question of American life at this point, which is given my role here, how should I behave? Not just given what I want or how I want people to see me, but as a member of Congress or a president, as an employer or a worker, as a pastor or a congregant, as a neighbor or, or as a friend, what should I do here? Given that that's what I am, what should I be doing? I would bet you that the people who most drive you crazy in American life at this point are the people who fail to ask that question when they obviously should. And all of us could do with asking it more often. When we face a judgment, a moment of decision, we should not only ask ourselves, what do I want, but what's my responsibility here given the roles I have?